In our series, Home of the Brave, we celebrate veterans around the country. And right now we are talking about one retired Air Force uh, veteran. He is from Fargo, North Dakota, which sure. is pretty amazing. Uh, this man, Mark Lindquist, has quite a remarkable story. Uh, this week, marching for 40 hours straight in order to fundraise wow. for a rehabilitation center in Kyiv, Ukraine. He joins me right now live. How you doing, Mark? I'm great. Coming to you live from my hometown of Ortonville, Minnesota, two hours south of frozen Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mark? I did a little research on you. Uh, you have been an actor. You have been a motivational speaker. You were adopted as a little baby from an orphanage in uh, Korea, uh, South Korea. So I just I think that your story has been just like a movie. And now you're doing something completely volunteer, not any payment from anyone, uh, but you've raised nearly $300,000? Yeah, it's all because of the people of America. They want to help people in Ukraine. Maybe they see what's going on over there, but they don't have the knowledge of what, what is needed over there. So I, as an American veteran, having been operating over there for the past year, uh, have been connecting Americans to the needs in Ukraine, and people have really responded. What is this rehabilit rehabilitation center pr primarily going to do? Well, we got to heal these veterans who have seen such trauma, you know, trauma similar to World War I and World War II veterans with shell shock and seeing artillery fire and the injuries of a, a war of that nature. And so what we want to do is we want to bring an opportunity for those veterans to come and heal and work through their trauma. I'm working with psychologists in Ukraine to be able to ensure that, uh, you know, people can reintegrate into society, much like the problems we see with our veterans in America. And I know that it was very cold. You talked about how cold it is right now in Minnesota and in Fargo, but you started your hike marching and it was 20 below zero, but you're still, you're beaming and smiling in all these pictures. <laughs> and you didn't have any face gear on. Uh, I don't even think you had gloves. Is that part of raising the money? <laughs> yeah, you know, the soldiers in any warfare, especially out in the Donbass, you don't get to choose the weather. It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit over there at night. And so what I wanted to do was simulate for the American people what we do in Ukraine as volunteers. You got to go ask a soldier what he needs. You got to go find him on some road in eastern Ukraine and you have to deliver that humanitarian aid. I simulated that for my fellow friends in Fargo. I started off with Poor gloves, no hat, no face covering, no food, no wallet. So you had to find this American veteran. If you wanted him to survive, you had to deliver me aid. And so that wow. was our little project. Well, I think it's wonderful. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.